Hey, it's Phoebe Ryan coming to you live from Toronto on the tour bus with Say Lulu, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to my interview with Phoebe Ryan. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm awesome. Really excited <laughs> to be doing this. Yes, Toronto. What's Woo! up? <laughs> you're now touring with Say Lulu. So yes. how have those shows been? Because we're so stoked for the Toronto one tonight. Oh my gosh, it's been it's been crazy. Just like I'm so surprised by the crowd reaction every night, and it's like this is my first like actual well I guess it's like my second tour I toured with the Knox earlier this spring but this is like my first bus tour and it feels like very official and um it's like I'm just like so surprised by people coming to the shows <laughs> I'm still like getting used to it well when it comes to packing for an extensive tour like this one what are quintessential items because I'm sure you're kind of oh rummaging through your room trying to figure it out so quintessentials I, for you I would open one of these cabinets but all my stuff would just fall, fall out and us. it would be ridiculous <laughs> um essentials are I don't know I feel like I feel like um for performing you need to have like a bunch of dresses not that I'm wearing a dress tonight <laughs> but like you need to have like some like nice pieces just for performance and like looking cute on stage so that's pretty necessary and um what else I don't know just like the everything you would need if you were going like on vacation just like necessities and you want to feel comfortable too so I brought like a season of 30 rock and I'm just like watching <laughs> that in bed just trying to like pretend like it's home you know yeah yeah awesome well, I've seen photographs of you and the Say Lulu ladies, and it looks like you're really bonding very well. Yes, yeah. Did you kind of just hit it off right away? Yeah, we did. It was like, they're just like so nice. It's been, it's been really easy getting along with everybody. Like, there's no, there's no like weirdness. It's really cool. Awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, there are so many female acts, them being one of them right now, and yeah. they're such a strong one. So are there any others you've been listening to lately that you could recommend? Um, I mean, Halsey's new album is crazy. It's so good. I'm just, like, really blown away by her. Um, and, yeah, like, I've been spinning that record a lot lately. So good. <laughs> I'm also a Katie Shaw fan. We interviewed her a while back. Yes. Yeah, yeah she's awesome. She's <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Well, speaking of strong females, you released mine, your debut EP. Yeah. So you must be pretty excited that you're touring that across, across North America. It's crazy because, like, this is my first, like, work that I've done under my own name, and it's, like, all written by me, and it's just, like, so amazing seeing it, like, come to life every night and, like, feeling the songs, you know what I mean? I know that's weird, but, like, feeling them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've written songs for other people in the past, so how did it feel yeah. to actually write your own material? Oh, my gosh. Was that it's different for you? It's like total. It's for some reason it's totally like a different. It's just like a whole different vibe. Like you get into when you're writing for other people, you're kind of like in character for what they want to say, and this is like straight from me, you know. Do you find it easier writing for other people or for yourself? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It all depends. I mean, there's like good days where you can just write your butt off, and then there's some days where you're like what do I have to say so it's really like dependent on how you feel for the title mine then was that kind of called that because of the fact these songs were finally your own is that part of it yeah I think I think that was definitely like part of it feeling like this is finally like accepting who I am and like what's going on and how I feel and Everything, everything seems to be about how I feel right now. <laughs> yes, it's feeling great, though. So I much feel, awesome stuff's happening for I you. I feel amazing. It's, like, mind-blowing. <laughs> it's really crazy. Well, the EP's title track was actually featured in MTV Scream. Oh and I was gosh. watching it with my sister, because we oh just watched gosh. that crazy finale, heard the track, and thought that was awesome. So, yeah, what were, you, was... what were your thoughts when you found out about that? Um, just, like, watching it on TV and having my friends, like call me and text me being like we just heard you on MTV's like scream and I was just like oh my gosh this is <laughs> like growing up watching MTV and then having your songs being played on MTV that's like what <laughs> is happening <laughs> which other shows or films then would you love to see your music in oh my gosh I don't know hopefully just like new upcoming like fresh 
filmmakers and directors and shows like I like to support like especially being like a new artist I feel like it's cool like coming up with other people that are on the rise you know <laughs> yeah well something I noticed you've been posting a lot about is how surreal it feels and how crazy it feels that all this is going on as you mentioned oh before <laughs> so also being younger I mean we're around the same age in this industry yeah. doing this so how do you yeah. kind of cope with all of that stress when it comes your way I mean I honestly have like an amazing team behind me and they make sure that they like do so much to make sure I'm as least stressed out as possible <laughs> and they do an amazing job of that they just like take care of me like family and it's like so good <laughs> awesome yeah. well and to wrap everything up is there anything you'd like to say to your fans who will be watching your interview well I would just like to thank Toronto and Ambi do you it's Ambi yep Ambi Ambi what up <laughs> um yeah, I just want to say thank you for the support, and fans are always amazing, new fans, old fans, um, just thank you, I'm very grateful. And a massive thank you to you for your time today, thank really you. appreciate it. So thank, thank you so very much. much, thank you. <laughs> remember everyone, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all sorts of interviews, features, videos with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time.